Welcome to another episode of Skids Garage. Uh, we're meant to be getting some painting done today, but uh, it has been raining on and off. So yeah, it's a very wet day in sunny Queensland today. Uh, let's move this car out of the way. Uh, we'll see if we can set up something in the garage and uh, see if we can lay some paint down. Okay, so let's um, get these new guards painted to match the car. So, I've got my uh, wizard just here. And basically, we're just getting him a quick sand. The paint I've got is um, pretty good. It's designed for outdoor use. I'll get onto that later. But um, let's get sanding. <laughs> Now you can see that everything's all very roughed up, which is uh, what we're after. Um, go grab the other guard, we'll do that one, give them a wash off, and uh, then there's the next step. Now that they're all nice and scuffed up, uh, what we want to do now is just give them a hose down, uh, clean up all the, um, all the powder and excess uh, dust from, from sanding. Um, and then we'll hit them with some uh, wax and grease and uh, let them dry. <laughs> Alright, so they're nice and uh, wet. They're free of all dust and powder and sanding residue. So let's uh, leave those to dry and uh, we'll come back to those a bit later. Okay, so to get the paint job done, uh, we need some primer. Use a a white primer because I'm using a light colored paint. Um, I guess the lighter colored paint you don't need to use as much of if you've got a lighter colored primer. A clear to go over the top. We've got some wax and grease remover um, and a rag as well. So let's get into it. So now that we've got a little station set up, compromising of some wheelie bins with an old rag. Um, basically, we've got your wax and grease remover uh, a rag and we're just going to go all over the guards just to clean up any dust um, that's left on there after we've given them a good wash. So let's get into that. So now we've used the wax and grease remover, the guards are nice and clean um, and uh, we'll get ready to hit it with some primer first, some paint. Uh, after that and some clear and hopefully the rain gods will make sure that uh, it doesn't rain and we don't get any blowback into the garage so uh, let's get on it so we want to give the paint a good shake um, basically the better you shake it up the better chance it'll have of sticking I guess so um, there taken away Six and a half hours later. So 
now with our first coat done, we'll just let it uh, dry for five to 10 minutes and uh, hit it with some more paint. All right, so time for another coat. Remember to give the can a shake because it might've settled uh, in between. Now this coat you probably wanna do a bit thicker and heavier uh, and get a really good coverage because we'll be hitting it with um, uh, some top coat next. <laughs> device to use so that your fingers don't get sore is this little trigger dude so basically it clips onto the can and then you can use it as a spray can makes it a bit easier Let's hit it with some colour. Now remember we want the first coat to be nice and light. Um, basically just get it down, get a semi-even sort of coverage on there. And then the next coat uh, will go a bit heavier um, and then heavier again, and then we'll lay some clear. Okay, so first base coat now nice and dry. Uh, let's hit it with a second coat. And uh, this one we'll do a bit thicker uh, to get a bit more coverage on there. So remember to give the can a good shake again, just to get the paint all loosened up. And uh, let's hit it. Now we've got our top coat done, really nice colour on there. Um, we'll just let this get tack dry. So you don't want it to dry completely, you just want it to get nice and tacky. Pop the clear on, which will let the clear really bond into the, um, into the colour. So we'll maybe give this um, 10 minutes or so and uh, we'll get onto the clear. So now it's time to hit it with some clear. Let's get to it. that don't they look fantastic so let's just give these some time to dry and then um, we'll pop them on the car that I use it's the um, rust oleum the reason I use this is that it's super easy to work with and it's super hard wearing as well. And, and because it's just a drift car, you know, it's not a, not a show car or a drive car on the road and it gets pretty beaten up. I find that this stuff, it's, it's very hard wearing and um, pretty solid and it's very easy to lay down. As you saw, 
so you don't need to do much in the way of prep you can just go nuts with it really and um, it doesn't uh, it's it's very very forgiving so uh, you know you don't have to follow any sort of lines or anything you just get the, the paint on there and uh, the paint does its does its job so that's um that's why I use it who loves popcorn chicken Meet my retarded dog. <laughs>